Hello and welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss state management with hidden fields and this is part 15 of the current playlist. So we will demonstrate the hidden fields in action through code example in MVC and which are hidden fields. Sometimes we just need some data to be passed from client to server that doesn't need to be shown. And data can be saved in hidden form fields which are not shown on the browser because you don't need to show that in a form, but you need to pass it from client to server when the browser is refreshed, okay? So I'll be showing you in a Visual Studio MVC project that we have been working. And this data can be posted back on the next request and app must revalidate the data stored in hidden fields as it could be potentially tampered on the client side from the security perspective. Now, in this current project, I am going to write two more action methods for setting the hidden field and get the hidden field, show it on a um, debugger by, I mean, hitting the breakpoint, you know, by applying a breakpoint and then hitting the breakpoint. So, let's get back to work. This will be, first one will be HTTP GET get verb and this will be public i action result and i will name it hidden field hidden field uh, you can say set and this doesn't have any parameter parameterless action method and we will um, initialize an employee object say emp again new employee And this time we will be assigning the values to all of its properties, public properties. Name and department. marketing f for female in short and then semicolon to close the employee object okay close the uh, terminate the code and then return view employee return employee object emp okay Now let me build this to see if everything is all right or not. And then we'll create a view for this hidden field set action method. Okay, so build is started and build is now successful. So let's um, get to the view for this action method. And after making the view, I will write another action method, which will get the values from a form collection okay and we'll soon see what is going to happen how we are going to demonstrate the hidden field so let's right click and generate the view from the template razor view add so this will be 
details and model class will be implying click on add and we have got this view okay where the model is the employee now here below the last one we'll write a hidden field for hidden for okay so just like and the last one we'll copy paste it over here so instead of html dot display for we'll write html dot hidden for you can see hidden and hidden for and model goes to model dot name okay we'll come to that in a bit okay so i could uh, use any of these name pay department but i would like to show a pass a name as a hidden field okay and then i will show i'll browse to i'll run the application and browse to hidden field set okay so let's click on ias express button to run this application so application is running so if i browse to user details slash what was the action method so i quickly check the action method and paste hidden field set and let's see what happens so it doesn't show anything but it is just a form hidden field set this is the um, employee as title and gender department pay so let us right click and see the page source now here in the page source you will see this is the last one dd class so id name name is name type hidden and value is maya okay so we have passed maya as a hidden field now let's get back to code and write another action method and we'll uh, put it to the debugger we'll put a big point and we'll get the value of uh, this name which is a key the value of name um, in the other action method so we'll see the action now so i'll copy this copy and then paste and this will be a post method so HTTP post. So when the form is submitted, that is to say, and I will pass a parameter I form collection, a form collection I form collection. Say it is key value pairs, keys or pairs of keys. Okay, right, and then get rid of all this bit which is not necessary and what I will do is a variable name equals keys and then keys for this name this is now acting as a key whose value will be extracted in a bit and then return view empty right so pub, this is HTTP post type on the post posting of this form which I will create turn it over into a form this um, total thing so just be with me for a second so hidden field set I form collection keys var name equals value this keys the supplied parameter keys with this um, key name his name return view okay and then i just break the application save everything and all i am going to need is to wrap it around a form which will be something if you are coming from the old asp.net framework then you'll be familiar most of you 
who have come from that background even if it is you are new to .NET Core, you will still be familiar with this. You can recall using HTML dot begin form, okay, and then it renders a form, okay. So you are just wrapping it around a form. You are beginning a form now, which ends over here, and. ends over here so so all those red squiggly lines are gone I've done nothing it takes a bit of a time I've seen this squiggly lines to go because even if you are not writing any incorrect code you're writing correct code still it takes time anyway so finally I will put a input button input of type submit um, type submit and the name of the button will also be submit value submit this is a submit button to post the form okay and we'll see it in action so everything is taken care of and these squiggly lines will go okay so let's do the last bit that is user default details controller and i'll put the breakpoint over here and run this application. Then the application is loading. So I browse to user details slash hidden field set and click on submit. Let's see the fun. It has, okay. So it's F10. Right. So now you can see it is showing name Maya. Okay. So that is the demo of hidden field. So you hidden field was set in the iform collections and you could see it in the debugger because it is not shown in the browser. So this is the way to show. So in this lecture, we have seen successfully demonstrated what is a hidden field. Hidden field is a hidden field is a parameter set on the client side and it is revalidated on the server side and it is to share data between client and server which is not needed to be shown on the browser okay